don't think you're in a good shape at all, Buck. <coughs> oh, I'm fine. <coughs> it's just a cough. <coughs> Surely that isn't <coughs> worth a fuss. It's not just a cough. It's a strange sound you're making as well. I'll give you a proper check over tomorrow with Mr. Thompson. Oh, well, <coughs> if it's not too much of a bother. Oh, of course it isn't. Come on, let's get you home. It seems some of your parts are rather worn, Buck. Your tubes are in need of a good cleaning, too. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Oh, it's hardly your fault, Buck. These things are perfectly natural for an engine. This means I have to go to the works, right? Hmm, not yet. You can still operate, though it's best that you don't pull any trains today. How about you work with Joseph in the arts? You're good at shunting, and you're the right size for the tight curves. Hmm. Okay, sir. I, I could do that. Excellent. I'll arrange for you to go to the works tomorrow. Hey, Buck. Uh, oh, uh, hi, Joseph. Uh, what are you doing here? You're on passenger today, right? Uh, well, I was, but I'm not feeling too well today, so I'm not taking any trains at the moment. Shouldn't you be in the sheds then? Well, I could still work, but the manager felt it best if I just shunted today. You don't mind, do you? Why would you think I would mind? Well, it's mainly become your job as a shunter here. I don't want to mess up with how you do things. Well, as long as you don't get in the way, it's fine by me. Uh, are you sure it's okay? Yeah. You're absolutely sure? <laughs> yes, Buck. I'm sure. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> uh, um... <laughs> Uh, sorry. Uh, let's just get to work then. Uh, so, um, what, what can I do first? Hmm... I actually don't know, to be honest. There's a lot to do today. Oh, uh, I could bring those to the station over there. Uh, okay. Fine by me. I need to sort some steel trucks out. I'll see you in a bit. Right. See you later then, Joseph.
Buck, what are you doing here? Uh, oh, well, I'm just bringing your coaches in. I'm helping Joseph out today. Hmm, is that so? Not sure what help you can be with that performance. P performance Rushing in like that, you could have damaged these. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I didn't want to go too slowly, you know. I, I really don't want them to make you late. <sighs> that hardly means speeding along. You're not an express engine, you know. Honestly, Buck. When are you going to learn to stop embarrassing yourself? You first made a fool of yourself with our director, and now you're doing it again? But uh, that, that was all fine. Mr. Bailey even said so. <laughs> well, so he says. I... I'm sorry. I, I am trying. Yes, well, maybe it's a matter of trying a little harder, alright? Now, if you don't mind... Hi, Joseph. Uh, Falcon's train's all sorted. Ah, cheers for that. Are you okay? Oh, uh, yeah, 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 I'm fine. It's just that, um, Falcon, he was a bit grumpy with me. Oh, he's like that to you too? Huh? What d do you mean? Well, since my first day, he always seemed a bit unhappy with me. Even after the mess with the coaches was cleared up, I don't think he really likes me all that much. Not that I really care. Well, I guess you could say it's like that. Oh, sorry to hear that. Uh, it's fine. I'll, I'll be fine. Eventually. Anyways, let's uh, let's get back to work.
Hey, oh, hey, Joseph, are you okay? Huh? Yeah, I'm fine. Why? You looked a bit tense earlier. What do you mean? At the station earlier. I saw you behind the coaches you just brought in. Oh, you, you noticed. That sort of thing stresses you out? <sighs> it's more tiring than anything. So many people and sounds at once. It gets a bit much sometimes. That's why I prefer the yards. A lot more space and fewer people around. It's really the only place where I can feel relaxed. That honestly sounds rather lonely. D doesn't that bother you? Not really. I don't mind. I just prefer to block things out sometimes and stick to myself. But don't you like being around others sometimes? You know, like friends to chat with? Well, sometimes I feel like that, yeah. But only if it isn't exhausting, which isn't very common. So I just feel like I'm better on my own, mostly. If I need something done, I can get it done. Not wait or worry about anyone else. You don't mind, do you? Huh? Mind what? Me preferring that way of living. Oh, uh, of course not. I... I just hope that you're okay with that. Well, I can live with it. Being by myself just puts me more at ease sometimes. If that makes sense. I... I guess so. But wait, if I'm here right now, does that mean I'm putting you at... on ease? Hmm... I wouldn't say so. We haven't done that at all since I've arrived here. Haven't been a bother either. I haven't? Well, I'll certainly take you over Falcon any day. <laughs> uh. That said, I've noticed that you're very quick at what you do. Uh, what do you mean? Well, it's the way you shunt. It's gentle, yet it's very fast. Honestly, it's amazing you haven't knocked something off the track yet. Oh, well, that's, that's just me, really. I just want to make sure everything gets out, gets out on time. I understand that, but there's no harm in taking it slow. I know, I know, but sometimes I worry when I'm not on time, especially if it's over something silly. Like when Mr. Bailey had a cast on his leg, and in the end, it just turned out I didn't need to go slow at all. I wouldn't really call that silly. You were just concerned about one of your passengers. Well, yes, but it's still something that worries me, you know. It's annoying, I know, but it's not like I do it on purpose. <sighs> I say that a lot, yet no one ever believes it. <sighs> it's okay, it's not your fault. You just didn't know. Still, I wish I could help it in some way. If I'm honest, I kinda envy you. You envy me? Well, that's a first. Every time I see you, you're just so calm and steady. It's like there's not a single thing bothering you at all. Mm. I wish I could be like that. Being able to do anything without constant fear. But I just... I just don't know how to. It's not like I could just calm down or just not worry, can I? No, of course not. It's not always that simple, is it? <sighs> no, I haven't had much luck finding someone who understands, though. They always just laugh it off, and... I always feel like I'm being pushed out, like... Like I can't... Can't... fit in? How did you know? Wait, you mean... You also... feel like... Wow! Didn't realize how alike we are. 
I mean, both out of the ordinary in some way around here. Huh. I guess so. Well, I... I'd better get back to work. Well, that's basically it, is it? Yeah, all done for the day. Cheers for the help, Buck. I honestly enjoyed the company. Oh, it's alright. Thank you for such a lovely day. It was nice to be away from the main line for a while. I'm sure you'll be glad to have the yards back to yourself again. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. But I really did enjoy having you here. Really? Yeah, it's not often I'm with company I like. You... like? Well, not too loud, not too bothersome. It's almost perfect for me. Oh, th th thanks. I mean, you're welcome too. Uh, to be honest, I, I like your company too. Not loud and obnoxious like the other engines. You do? I appreciate that, but it's not like I really have much to say. Maybe, but I don't. But I really don't mind, to be honest. We should try and chat more when we can. If you're okay with that, of course. I. I suppose we could. That. sounds nice. My Joseph, quite a bright sight today, aren't you? Am I? Yes, I think it's the first time I've seen a big grin on you. Well, I had a good day yesterday. Hmm, got along well with Buck, I assume? Yeah, you could say that.
What's taking him so long? No idea. Huh, about time. Oi, Del, how many times do we have to tell you? You know how painful it is to get those things back on the line? Oh, who cares? They're only bloody trucks. There's more than enough round here. Just get them over here. Afternoon, Adam. Oh, hello, Barry. Taking a break from the dust, are you? More like taking a break from the engine. He's been acting up again. He's always acting up. Honestly, Mr. Thompson, I'm not sure what to do with him. I don't understand why you keep him around. He sounds more trouble than he's worth. It's not that he doesn't do his work, it's just... How he does it. So negative and aggressive. He creates such a bad atmosphere. I'm more than convinced he can change. I just don't know how to make it so. Perhaps your engine needs a good role model, someone to watch and learn from. I guess so. The question is, who though? Leave it to me. Good evening, Joseph. Oh, hello, sir. How are you? Keeping everything in good order, I see. Uh, doing all right. That's good. Well, anyway, the reason I'm here is that I have a rather important assignment for you. One that will take you to a familiar and new environment at the same time. Huh? Have you heard of the Angel's Gate Quarry? I think Sterling mentioned it a few times. Well, it's run by its own company, you see, but our railway serves it quite regularly, since we are the smoothest transport in these parts. They have their own engine called Dell, but they've been having... difficulties with him. Attitude-related difficulties, to be more accurate. The quarry manager and I believe that Dell simply needs a good example to be around. Someone who can show him how to be a better engine. That is where you come in. I've agreed to have you work at the quarry for the next two days, to give Dell guidance where he needs it. So, wait, you want me to be this good example? Precisely. I'm not exactly a teacher, sir. I certainly don't want to be one. You don't have to teach him anything, you just need to show off a bit. Show Dell how to be a gentle shunter, a smooth runner, and to be respectful to fellow workmen. Can you do it? Well, 
No harm in giving it a go, I suppose. So, we go through several temporary shunters, then we finally get a permanent one, and even he goes away? Is Mr. Thompson intentionally trying to torture me or something? Good lord, Falcon, it's only two days. You've survived far longer. Believe me, Sterling, two days can feel like two weeks. Well, it probably will for Joseph. Is that supposed to imply something? Believe me, Joseph, that engine is a literal nightmare. He's actually one of the oldest engines around here, isn't he? Oh yes, I've known him to be at that quarry for the last 70 years. Well, if you ask me, he, he doesn't act that old in the slightest. He's loud, rough, and doesn't seem to have any sense of respect. Well, I wish you luck, mate. Well, that certainly makes me feel better. Oh, I'm sure you'll be fine, Joseph. Regardless of how Dell is, it's important to be patient with him. You don't want to make things worse, do you? Well, no, of course not. I just hope he'll let me. Who are you? And what are you doing here? I'm Joseph. And I was sent up here to help for a while. What do you mean, help? Who said I need help? I did. Your attitude has always been a thorn in my side, as well as for everyone else, and it's high time we put an end to it. I've been assured by Mr. Thompson that Joseph here has a good track record, so we've agreed to have him work here for today and tomorrow, and you, Dell, will watch him closely, pay attention to how he works, and perhaps you'll learn something valuable. So, um, what do we need to do next? Uh, well, there are some loaded trucks that need to be brought here. They're for Spirit's Hill. They're at the other side of the quarry. You can do that while I push some empties into the mine shafts. Can you manage that? Yeah, sure. Well, go on then. Don't sit around. Excuse me, are these for Spirits Hill? Hmm? Oh, yes. They need to go near the junction. Oh, 
Oh, where is he? Can't believe it. I sent some outsider to my quarry to do my work, push me around, and yet he can't even do a simple job on time. Where have you been? What? Where have you been? I brought these trucks over, as you told me to. Well, I didn't say to do it at a snail's pace, did I? Honestly. You know what? I was meant to take that train to the junction, but since you're already getting in the way, you can do it instead. Can you manage that? What the hell? Well, can you? Yes, of course. Well, grab a brake fan and get going. Joseph, I didn't expect to see you here. Yeah, well, I don't think Dale likes my company. W would it be silly to ask how you're getting on? You were right to warn me, mate. Oh, what did he do? He got mad because I pushed these trucks at an apparent snail's pace. I was just going at the pace I always go, slow and patiently. That's what shunting should be. But that seems to be a very odd concept for him. Has he really always been like this? Well, from the very first day I saw him, yeah. Well, no wonder he's only at the quarry. God knows what sort of chaos he would cause elsewhere. Well, it's more because he isn't allowed to go anywhere else. Well, unless he has a good reason to, of course. He's only permitted to go this far. The trucks are left or stored here where other engines take them on. He's up for Spirits Hill, right? Yeah. I think the Village Inn is going through some construction right now. Uh, are you sure you can make it through today and tomorrow? Well, I've got no choice, do I? Mr. Thompson basically promised that manager I can sort his engine out. So I've got to see it through. But, 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 look at you! You've only really started just working there, and it really looks too much for you. I can speak with Mr. Thompson when I get back and send you back to the yards and stuff, eh? No, Buck, please, don't do that. I know you want to help, but I have to see this through. It's only two days. Just two days, and that will be it.
Joseph? It's best not to disturb him, Buck. Disturbing? How long has he been like that? Oh, well, since he got back. I think he needs all the sleep he can get. Joseph! Oh, hi, Buck. Why the rush? I just wanted to check on you. I wanted to last night, but you were already asleep. Oh, well, it was, it, it was a busy day yesterday. J Joseph, I really don't like this. You're even worse than when I last saw you. Look, I, I'm just a little knackered, that's all. Once I'm on the main line, I'll be more awake. J Joseph, uh, please, th tell Mr. Thompson that you can't handle this. O or at least let me tell him. No, Buck, it's fine. I just need to get through today, and that will be it. But, but, it's clearly hurting you. Why don't you just stop now? Oh, enough! <gasps> Look, just stop going on about this, Buck. Okay? It's just a day, and that will be it. I'll see you later. Bloody workmen. Always slutting around with their tea or coffee. This is a quarry, not a cafe. What's wrong with you? Why are you like this? What? Why do you have this disgusting attitude? Why do you act like you want everyone to hate you? You rush around, bum the trucks, and treat the workmen like dirt. For no reason. Can't you just learn to have a little bit of respect? Respect? I work here day after day going backwards and forwards with train after train. I am the reason the quarry get anything out efficiently. Is that not respect enough? If you can't stand my way of living, that's your problem mate, not mine. Your way of living is the reason I'm here. The reason I've been forced out of my yard. If you were a tiny bit mature, you wouldn't have to even think about me. Ah, shut up! Settle down, you two. I don't know why I'm bothering with this. I should get rid of you and find another engine. Someone with a natural brain. You idiot! You complete and utter idiot! What were you thinking? Well, don't just stand there. Get the bloody crane! Uh, yes, y yes, sir. Well, are you happy with yourself? Are you satisfied with a mess in front of you? Are you aware of how much this will push us back? Many people rely on us and our quarry on a regular basis, and now because of you, it will take a long time to get ourselves back up to speed. Do you understand? 
And as for you, you were meant to come here and fix the situation we were in. Nearly two days have gone by and not only has there been no improvement, but it's gotten worse. You were supposed to help Dell, not agitate him further. I wasn't trying to agitate him. Then why hasn't he changed? Because he won't listen. I tried to be patient. I tried to show my way of working, but he either wouldn't pay attention or see it as a nuisance. How is that my fault? How is it my fault that your engine is too bloody stubborn? <sighs> I'm sorry, sir. I tried to fix him, but I can't. I can't work with that kind of engine. <sighs> Fine then. Once you're on the rails, you can go home. I'll let Barry know you'll be back sooner than expected. Joseph, uh, are you okay? Is that meant to be rhetorical? What are you doing standing out there? Well, I was going to come in, but I saw you and thought you wouldn't want me to bother you. It's not a problem, of course. I, I could find another shed to rest Actually, in. Actually, you can stay. I wouldn't mind the company. So, I... I heard it didn't go well. Well, you at least tried your best. It's not your fault you couldn't help him. At least you're out of there now and back in the yards. I don't get it, Buck. I don't get how anyone can live like that. Or why they would want to. Well, t t to be honest, I, I don't quite get it either. I guess some engines are just raised that way. Well, whoever raised Dell did their job poorly, didn't they? I just hope I won't be needed there again. I don't think I'll be able to cope with it. Mr. Thompson's probably not happy. No, oh, d don't worry about it, Joseph. I I'm sure once you explain your side, he'll understand. <sighs> I'm sorry, Buck. I'm sorry I shouted at you earlier. You were trying to help me, and I should have seen that. It's just kind of weird. I don't often know someone who actually cared enough to help me. I I hope this hasn't affected our good relations. You mean f friendship, right? Of course it hasn't. I, I know you weren't well, and... I'm just glad you'll be able to get better now. Yeah, hopefully. <sighs> well, to try and get some sleep. I'll make sure you aren't disturbed. You don't mind? Of course not. Wouldn't be a good friend if I did, would I? Thank mm -hmm. you.
Hello, Joseph. Oh, hello, Buck. Where were you? Oh, so sorry. I had one last good strain to sort. I tried to think what would happen if any work was left undone. <laughs> hmm. But, but, it's all done and dusted. And now, with less services until the holidays are over, we can spend a good few days of rest. Yeah. Definitely can do with that. Oh, uh, are you okay? Uh, just a bit tired, is all. Hmm, N not a good night for you, is it? It's not entirely that. At a time like Christmas, you would expect this sort of thing. I may not be hugely fond of it, but I'm not going to be a bloody Scrooge about it, am I? It's more that I'm kind of a stranger to this stuff. W what? C Christmas? Well, more or less Christmas parties, or gatherings of these kinds in general. You mean that this is your first p proper Christmas party? Didn't your quarry do anything for you? Would you have a party in a quarry? Uh, oh. It's alright. I don't really mind it too much. N nothing harmful at all, is it? Well, you're certainly right there. So, a at least it's a good proper c Christmas, right? Well, it works for me. <laughs> well, it's certainly a bit better than my first Christmas. Now that was an unforgettable experience. Tell you what, would you like me to tell you about it? About your first Christmas? Uh, yeah, w well, if you want me to. Uh, something for you to listen for a while. If you're not interested, then I won't bore you. Sure. Please, tell me. I would like to hear it. Really? Well, not like I'm doing anything else. Alright then. So, I was built by a society of railway enthusiasts. They wanted to make a steam engine that was a replica of a class of steam engines that was scrapped long ago. Uh, apparently, my design was that of two old North British goods engines. The society had very kind people. They taught me how to speak, and kept me as clean as much as they could. In fact, I was even allowed to choose my own livery. After I was ready to run, I began pulling small rail tours around London, which was where I was based. It was mostly peaceful work, and I appreciated the attention. Then came my first Christmas. Oh, morning, Emma. Morning, Buck. All ready for the Santa specials today? Uh, j just about. Some of the workmen said that they needed to get something for me. Uh, apparently, it's just for this occasion. Hmm, I think I know what. It wouldn't be a proper Santa special without them. W well, w w what are they, though? Wait and see, wait and see. I can't wait to see what you'll look like with them. Look like with... Them? Look like what? Uh, what are those? They're antlers and a red nose. We're going to dress you up as Rudolph. Rudolph? Yes. You mean they haven't told you about him? Uh, no. Who is he? He's one of Santa's reindeer, 
who was born with a bright red nose. It glows in the dark, allowing Santa and the other reindeer to travel at night, delivering presents. Whoa! Wait, d d does that mean that this nose will glow up? Of course not, silly! Oh. But it doesn't matter. It will still look good, and I'm sure the children will love it regardless. Well, won't it look kind of silly? Oh, don't worry about that. I think it will look rather cute. And even if it is silly, what's the harm in having some fun? Hmm. Uh, uh, okay then. Right, you need to tilt it a bit, alright? They're not straight on real days, you know. Oh, for goodness sake, does it matter? This isn't a real reindeer. If this ain't perfect, I'll never sleep again. So just get it right, alright? Well, how do you think he looks? He's perfect. I look fine? You look wonderful, Buck. I think we're going to have a wonderful time with the visitors. Right. All set and ready. When will we start? Hmm. In an hour's time, I think. So it will still be a while. I'll be back soon. Just going to see the manager. Nice to see another fine steam engine. <gasps> My goodness! Uh, um, what is it? What on earth has happened to you? Uh, oh, you mean these? These are for the Santa specials. I'm dressed up as Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. No, I don't mean that. I'm a fellow in your livery. M My li li livery? How could someone be so cruel to paint you in such a ghastly color? What's wrong with it? What's wrong with it? Well, look at it! It's such an improper colour for a railway! It's far too unusual and makes you look like something from a circus. Can't you see that? Well, I thought it looked nice. That's why I asked to be painted in it. You asked for it? Oh, you poor engine! Whoever owns you has clearly poisoned you. Such a colour should never be an option. Please heed my words, darling. If you continue with that livery, you'll become a laughing stock. You'll stick out like a rusted scrap engine. People will see you and they'll see steam engines and there's embarrassment. That will not do at all. Well, everything is all set. Is something the matter, Buck? E Emma, I is it wrong that I asked to be purple? Of course not, Buck. You look quite smart in it. What made you think that? Well, th th there was this large green engine that just went out. She, she said it was in an, an improper color and that... I'll become a laughing stock, and that I'll make people think that steam engines are an embarrassment. 
Hmm, it was a green engine, you say? Did she have two tenders? Yes, yes she did. Ah, uh, sounds like you just met the Flying Scotsman. Didn't you know that was her? The Flying Scotsman? You mean that famous engine that did all those non-stop runs between London and Scotland? Yes. It seems, though, that fame has gone to her smoke box. Oh, pay her no mind, Buck. No one has ever had a problem with your color, and if someone did, that's their problem, not yours. I think you made a very unique choice with purple. Uh, what does unique, uh, unique, uh, uh, unique, uh, uh, what does that word mean? Unique. It means you're not like anything or anyone else. You stand out, if you know what I mean. Uh, oh. I wouldn't dwell on what Scotsman said. You are fine just the way you are. Steady walk. Don't want to slip now. This is honestly going better than I expected. They really seem to like my look. Can't say I'm surprised. You've been doing great. Have I? Uh, 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 all I've been doing is just pulling the train. L like I always do. Well, yes. And you've been giving lots of joy to everyone. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, th th there's that, I suppose. <laughs> It's you again! Made arrangements ain't a dreadful liver yet! Uh... no? And why not? B b because I, I like my color. It makes me unique, and I like it that way. My driver even said so. 
Well, your driver must be one of the greatest fools in the country if they think such a ghastly color is acceptable. But, but she said so and- I was patient with you. I gave you the best words possible to make yourself a better engine. And you chose to defy them over some brainwash belief. You want to be a fool for the rest of your life? Go ahead, but don't come wailing to me. Well, Buck, I think that's been one of our best days ever. Everyone did a wonderful job. Oh, that, that, that's great, Anna. You're not still thinking about what Scotsman said, are you? It's hard not to, Emma. I mean, are you really sure she's not right? Of course. She doesn't know what she's talking about. Tell you what, when I can, I'll have a word with her owner. He'll sort her behavior out. Really? Really. Now let's get the antlers and nose off and get you back to the sheds. Perhaps a good night's sleep will make you feel better. Excuse me? Could you hold on a moment? I need your help with something. What's the matter? I just got word that the Flying Scots are going to stall outside of London with a train. She can't grip the rails properly. You're the closest that can help. Can you bring her here? Well, n n me Help Scotsman? Uh, I really don't know. Come now, Buck. She was rude to you, but we can't leave the passengers in the cold. What do I have for you, Junior? Uh, I, I, uh... We're here to help get you and your train moving. What? How could you possibly be of any help? <laughs> well, clearly you can't help yourself. How? <gasps> Come on, come on, get moving, you! Well done, Buck. What a show that was. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much.
Wow. I mean, you rescued the flying Scotsman herself? That must have been on the front pages for weeks. Well, it actually wasn't. The, the, the idea of the flying Scotsman being rescued by some little purple engine sounded rather humiliating to some people. So, it wasn't big news for long. Really? You're joking. No, it's, it's quite true. I really don't care, though. I really don't like huge amounts of attention anyway. Well, if you say so. But thanks for sharing that, Buck. I really enjoyed it. You're welcome. Th thanks for listening. What? It's... it's kind of weird, you know. Uh, that's actually the first time I told that story to someone. I haven't been able to tell anyone else here. Why is that? I... I, I don't know. J just didn't think that they find it interesting, or maybe they wouldn't like it. I mean, I know Falcon for one definitely would hate something about it. Huh. Guess I was the perfect audience for you. <laughs> oh, guess things are finally settling down now. Ah, oh, finally. I can have some sleep. <laughs> ah. Oh, and J Joseph? Yeah? Uh, m Merry Christmas. Yeah, you too. <laughs>